Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to test for the normality of skewness and kurtosis in Stata. In order to do so we'll start by loading the auto data set typing in web use auto and just so you know that's a data set on the properties of cars including price and um, miles per gallon headroom and also where they were manufactured as this is a US data set domestic means manufactured in the US and foreign outside the US. And let's say that we're interested in the normality of two variables in particular, miles per gallon and trunk, MPG and trunk. So the code in Stata is just SK test for that and followed by a list of variables, no commas anywhere. Just push enter and you pull up the skewness kurtosis tests for normality. Now what you're looking for is for these probabilities here to be over 0 0.05, over. Um, if they are, that's an indication that you have normality of distribution. You have a column for skewness, one for kurtosis, and a joint column for both skewness and kurtosis. Starting by looking at the joint column, we see that trunk is uh, normally distributed. It's not normally distributed, however, in terms of kurtosis. So if we wanted to break up that kind of judgment of where the normality of the distribution of trunk is coming from, we can kind of guess that it's mainly from skewness, it's not from kurtosis. Uh, conversely, miles per gallon is not uh, normal in terms of its skewness because it's uh, below 0 0.05 and its joint kurtosis skewness probability is also not normal because it's under 0 0.05. However, it's, it's a little bit over normal for the kurtosis value. Nonetheless, it's a very mild deviation. So here we would, we would strongly guess that uh, miles per gallon is uh, not normal, whereas trunk is normally distributed. What we would want to do is perhaps follow up with a Shapiro-Wilk test, which gives you an omnibus kind of value of normality of distribution. So here, using the Shapiro-Wilk test, we would uh, once again confirm that suspicion that trunk is normally distributed overall and miles per gallon um, is not. And something we can we can do even further, we can just look at quick histograms. Uh, with miles per gallon, we see that there are a lot of values over here to the left of the distribution more than um, in the middle, which is what we would expect in a slightly more normal distribution and we can do the same with trunk to see what the data look like and here you kind of see yeah of course it's not perfectly normal but it, it, it takes that general Gaussian shape generally that you would expect it to have uh, if it were normal so anyway when you are conducting the Shapiro Wilk test this is uh, ordinarily all that you will be expected to do in terms of reporting on the normality of a variable but the skewness kurtosis tests are also nice because they add a dimension of insight into the data. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.